This is the true story of Eleanor Marx in ten parts. 1. Eleanor of the eight-hour day gets betrayed by Edward of the two faces. She orders chloroform with just some traces of prussic acid, blue, a beautiful imitation. 2. She says it's for the dog, but she is the dog. 3. The housekeeper finds her dressed in white. It's not her bridal dress. She's not a bride. It's from her childhood. She lies as if asleep. She has strangely purple cheeks. 4. In her white muslin dress, she is laid out. 5. The coroner is exasperated with feeble Edward. Coroner, was the deceased your wife? Edward. Legally? Coroner. Were you married to the deceased? Edward. Not legally. Coroner. What was her age? Edward. 40? She was 43. 6. On Tuesday, fire. But the phoenix, god of suicide, doesn't rise. And Edward doesn't claim her because now he has a real wife. 7. So the urn that holds the ashes of the soft summer dress and of the woman who knew the power of the proletariat and of the chunk of poisoned apple that she bit under duress is taken to the offices of the SDF. 8. The offices are in Maiden Lane. 9. And in the offices in Maiden Lane there is a cupboard with two glass panes and there they place her to remain for years and years. Her tears are due, and she crushes nothing. 10. Nearly all of this is true.